When someone cuts the cheese at home, it's easy to point fingers. And just because you smelt it, doesn't mean you dealt it. How can we keep the air clean without blaming the dog? How about the Amazon Smart Air Quality Monitor? We review to you. We review the latest and greatest products, and when we're done, we give them away free to one lucky subscriber. We'll let you know at the end of this video how you can easily win this product. Okay, so the Amazon Smart Air Quality Monitor won't help you find the stinky culprit, but it will help you keep on top of other allergens and pollutants in the air in your home. But how? Let's find out. Specs and Features Out of the box, you've got the Air Quality Monitor and a micro USB wall charger. The monitor itself is made out of recycled thermoplastic resin with a rubber non-slip base, weighing in at around four ounces. On the front, you'll find an air vent covered in a metal grill and an LED indicator to let you know if the device is powered up. On the rear, your action button and a micro USB port for power. Setup is easy, but first you'll need to make sure you have an unused power outlet and a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi connection available in the Air Monitor's location. Download, install, and open the Alexa app. Add the Air Monitor by tapping the plus icon, and your detailed air quality report will be ready whenever you are. The Air Monitor works by measuring five main air quality metrics. Particulate matter, or PM. This covers allergens and irritants in the air. Volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, chemicals that can affect breathing. And then carbon monoxide, or CO, an invisible pollutant that can be dangerous in high concentrations. Humidity, mold and mildew causing heat and moisture. And then temperature, identify hot and cold pockets within the house. It then aggregates all this data into an easy-to-read scorecard for your home's quality. So, what do we like about the Amazon Smart Air Quality Monitor? First up, it's an easy and inexpensive way to check your home's air quality. Secondly, it's discreet, uses hardly any power at all, and is set up in a matter of minutes. And the integration with Amazon Echo brings a whole new meaning to laziness. Alexa, what is the air quality today? The indoor air quality is good, with an air quality score of 96. So. What's the downside? Not everyone is a fan of Alexa. And downloading the app just to use the Amazon Smart Air Quality Monitor does seem excessive. Also, the device doesn't seem to like any kind of extreme temperature or humidity. At 86 degrees Fahrenheit and 70% humidity, the Amazon Smart Air Quality Monitor maxes out. So what are other people saying about the Amazon Smart Air Quality Monitor? Amazon user Randomness wrote, Good things. Pretty quiet to operate considering there's a built-in fan. Easy to set up through the Alexa app. You just scan the barcode on the bottom of the device with an app. Bad things. The CO sensor is practically useless. The measurement range for things like humidity and temperature is too low. Yes, I had days when humidity was over 90% in the living room and the temperature was over 104 Fahrenheit. No, this monitor cannot measure such high values. Ethan D. wrote, I'm really impressed with the information that I now have at hand thanks to this air monitoring device. You can look at current readings as well as daily, weekly, and monthly averages for the five different measured elements. So, what's the verdict? At $70, it's an inexpensive, lightweight air quality sensor that does the job, but lacks any kind of precision measuring in high temperatures and environments with high humidity. We give it 3.5 out of 5 stars. An Amazon Smart Air Quality Monitor could be yours. We'll be giving ours away to one lucky subscriber. To be in the drawing to win our Amazon Smart Air Quality Monitor, the rules are simple. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel, 
Like this video and then leave a comment in this video with the hidden hashtag from today's review. That's it. I hope you were paying attention, but just in case you missed it the first time, you can always go back and watch again. We'll then select the subscriber at random and announce the winner exactly a week from now. Good luck. This has been Review to You, where we review and give to you for free. From Matt and Gary, see you guys next time.